Okay, we're gonna go over the approach shot today right now. And there's a couple things we need to understand is when an approach shot is not an approach shot, and when an approach shot is a shot that you're transitioning to the net. Okay, because that's what an approach shot is. Usually the approach shot is a short ball, it's dropping low um, towards the ground, and as you hit it, you're moving forward to move up for the next shot, which is the what? The volley. But if you come up on your approach shot and you get there and you get there soon, if your foot speed is really fast and it's higher than the white band, by by no means, you know, crush it, go after that ball. That's technically not an approach shot. And you don't have to go down the line, you can go cross court if you can hit the winner on it. Or you can really, really hurt your opponent. But we want to differentiate between approach shots and winners. Okay, approach shots are not winners, they're setup shots for the next shot. So does everybody understand that? In this video, we're going to take a look at the drive approach shot. And then we will follow up in the next couple of videos, the top spin and slice. We also will look at when, why, and where to approach, and explain if there are any advantages or disadvantages to using one particular type of approach. In this first example, we have the drive approach cross court. But the cross court approach is a risky shot, and here's why. Number one, you have farther to run to get set up, as shown here by Soderlin. He needs to get his body positioned where the stick figure is, as there's the possibility that Roger's going to hit this ball up the line. This type of cross court approach shot really favors the cross court pass, and here's why. You're doing a concept called following the line. Roger really has no choice but to go back cross court on this shot due to the, the depth and pace of this approach. By just following this ball back in the direction that it came from is a less riskier shot than trying to redirect it up the line. Anytime you redirect pace, you risk miscalculating the outgoing angle. So again, it's always safer following the line or direction where the ball came from. The odd thing about that approach was the down the line was wide open. However, Soderlin obviously feels threatened by Roger's forehand, so he continues to attack the backhand side. But as we see in the end, this now favors the cross-court pass. Next, let's look at the contact point. Right here we can see the ball is right in the strike zone of Soderlin. There's no need to slice or topspin this approach as it is perfectly suited for the flat drive. Similarly, we can watch Roddick come in on the cross-court inside-out approach shot, but just as with Soderlin, he gets passed with a cross-court return. Roger does make a ridiculous passing shot here, but the concept to remember here is what angles you are giving your opponent on your approach shot. Now in this last example, it doesn't matter how well you think you've hit your approach shot. Some people just have an answer for it on the passing shot. The good news is Nadal is the only player who owns this shot. Arthur Ashe was famous for quoting, always cover down the line when approaching the net. I think playing up against Nadal, you even have to take this a step further. By moving over to where the stickman figure is, you're forcing Nadal to hit an acute cross-court angle, and from that far back, this would be a very difficult shot to hit. How Nadal can get this much pace and depth on the dead run to make this passing shot is incredible but I've seen him hit this shot so many times now, he's made a believer out of me. Now on this shot, 99% of the pros would use an underspin slice emergency shot. Only Nadal can pull this shot off. But then again, Nadal doesn't have garden variety strokes either. So in conclusion, and this is just my opinion, it is probably better to watch the tendencies of the passing shots of your opponents and adjust your position at the net than to run to a particular spot. 
and don't forget your down the line approach is statistically your best bet with the exception of the cross court just to keep your opponent honest. (laughs) 